good morning. Welcome to Gym Run Bristol, session three. First up, speed agility, speed bounce. Pushing off the balls of the feet, bouncing from side to side. Arms out for balance. This is one of our five challenges in the gym and assessment, so we're going to put this one into practice with a 30 second speed bounce. So if you have a, a watch at the ready, time yourself, see how many of these you can do in 30 seconds. Here we go. going. Try and count as well whilst you're bouncing. And stop there. I think I lost count towards the end. Somewhere around 60, 65. See if you can beat that. Have a bit of a rest, catch your breath. After that one, next up, we're on to core stability. So, we're going to lie on the floor, bring our knees into our chest, arms wrapped around the knees, and we're going to rock backwards and then forwards. Staying nice and tucked as we go. We push off the feet as we come forward. If you find this one hard, just don't rock as far. For a bit more of a challenge, see if you can take your legs higher, keeping your chin on your chest as you rock back, even all the way over to the floor behind you. Keep everything nice and tucked. Two more. Next up, arm strength. We're going to do an inch worm plank twist. So feet nicely spaced apart, and we're going to push down onto our hands. And then when we get there, to begin with, we're just going to lift one hand off on each side and then walk our hands back up. So something like this. So reach out, walk down into a front support position, press up position, lift one hand, then the other, and then walk back. And again. To make this one slightly harder, we can bring our arm off and swing it up towards the sky. On each side, we find the position. Arm off, reach up, and on the other side, and walk it back in. Again. And to build on this one again, we can take it into a full press up between each twist. more. Nice, slow, controlled movement. One more time. Leg strength. Again, one of the five challenges in the gym run assessment. Standing long jumps, feet hip width apart, 
and we're going to bend at the ankles, the knees and the hips, keeping our head up, starting with our arms back and we're just going to swing forward and jump, not too far, bearing in mind the chances are you're going to be inside, we'll use the cone actually to jump over, so maybe 60-70% maximum effort, then into a, a half squat, arms back, and jump forward. And again. Take a bit of time to set the position up. So remember, we're bending the ankles, the knees, the hips, arms back. Trying to make sure your weight's forward as you land. We'll take it a little bit further, so we'll stand a bit further back from the cone. One more time. Bend at the ankles, bend at the knees, bend at the hips. Head up, arms back. Moving on, balance, arabesque, so we're going to stand up nice and tall, we're going to take our weight onto one leg, keeping our arms out to the side, catching our breath as we go, and once we find that balance point, can we raise the back leg a little bit higher? Try to keep the head and the chest up. See how high you can go with that back leg without falling over. And then repeat on the other side. So stand up nice and tall. Arms out for balance. Also one leg. And then slowly raise that back leg. Flexibility. So for this, we're going to touch our toes on one leg. So we're going to sit out and sit back nice and straight. Bend one leg in. Make sure the straight leg is straight and the back of the knee is touching the floor. I'm going to reach up, lifting the shoulders up, and then slowly roll forward. See if we can get somewhere near our toes and hold that position. Doesn't matter if you can't reach your toes, just go as far as you can, but keep that leg straight. Try and control your breathing. Five more seconds on this leg. Swap over the legs, one bent, one straight, reaching up, lifting up, and then slowly rolling down towards that, towards the toes on the straight leg, and hold. an important part of, of our fitness is stretching, quite often overlooked. There's often a temptation to not hold these stretches for as long, but it's worth it to keep your body working well. And then slowly come back up. So well done if you've managed to complete all of the gym. Now for the run. So this one we're going to go as always, three minutes. You can run for more than three minutes if you want, um, but at least three minutes. 
and we're going to go a two minute run and then have a rest and then a one minute run. Because we're getting some rest period you can afford to push yourself a little bit faster on the run either on the spot in your house, around your garden or outside in a safe space. So here we go.